I'm James O'Brien, and these are my thoughts on extension exercises. I felt inclined to talk about some of these extension exercises because it's really common that other clinicians or chiropractors or athletic trainers or whoever, doctors, um, many clinicians out there are prescribing exercises that focus on a ton of spinal extension. So exercises like this here, leaning back, and, or they will be um, on their stomach doing this cobra pose like this. Um, and the, I feel the, pro the problem with that is that, is, it's, is that it is generating an excessive amount of lumbar extension. Now, I think those exercises can be effective because they generate thoracic extension, but the problem is when they are generating excessive lumbar extension, they are jamming up the low back, they are jamming up these facet joints, and I just think that's, that's a recipe for disaster. So for most of my patients, they find pain and discomfort with lumbar extension. During the therapeutic, ex therapeutic exercises that I prescribe them, which are designed to open up the low back, they find good relief. And so when I teach them how to stand in correct alignment, where they're nice and tall and they're tipping the pelvis backwards slightly while still maintaining that lumbar curve, they find good relief. We're so aware that this is a bad thing and that we think, well, if this is bad, then the complete opposite must be good. But that's not a good thing either. We want to find that happy middle ground. And when we force ourselves into excessive extension, it's just jamming up those facet joints. I think it's just going to lead to wear and tear and ultimately instability and pain. With regards to this uh, prone press up or this cobra pose, yeah, I, I, not a huge fan, all right? Um, in fact, I mean, cobras are not only poisonous animals, but if you know your American history, uh, the arch nemesis of G.I. Joe was in fact Cobra. So that's pretty un-American, so mm, I think twice about it. It does give you a good fascial stretch, I'll admit that, but um, I think doing lots of those is just going to lead to some instability in your low back. So just a little bit of food for thought.